So it looks like we got new information when it comes to Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Now that all the trailers are out, there are spoilers that are now being pushed to the surface. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at all these spoilers, the trailers, and we're going to go ahead and see exactly who this final villain is fit to be. So let's get into this right after this intro. This video's comment shout out go to a subscriber known as Peter Pan. Who says, I love watching your videos. Keep up the great work. So if you want to be shouted out in the next video, you need to watch this video all the way to the very end, leaving a like as well as being subscribed to the channel and leaving a nice comment for me to read. So it looks like there is confirmation that Andrew 21, the villain from Dragon Ball Fighters, or some people like to call it Fighter Z will be in this movie now the big question is if she is the big bad at the end will she do some of the things that we've seen her do in the video game like absorbing boo i mean we did see an attack that was very similar to margin boo's human extinction attack and margin boo is of course in the movie let me know what you guys think on that now as far as broly broly is of course in the movie but i believe he's going to be in the first like 30 minutes of the movie they could make an appearance at the end, but it looks like they are just training on Beerus' planet. I don't know for sure if it's Goku and Vegeta against Broly or if it's a one-off, like a 1v1. Either way, it looks like Whis is enjoying it. He's the one that starts off the battle. Beerus is excited. Limo's there. She lies there. They're cooking. But make no mistake about it. This is Gohan's movie. Gohan is going to be heavenly seen in this movie. Now, will he break past his limits and actually achieve a form higher than his ultimate form? I believe so. Of course, by now, you know that Piccolo has received the ultimate form as well. Now, as much as I would like to see Ultra Instinct Goku or Ultra Ego Vegeta fight against this threat, let's just face it, the Red Ribbon Army cannot produce a warrior that is on the level of Gods of Destruction as well as Angels. But with Dragon Ball Super, I really wouldn't be surprised because Dr. Gero was able to make these strong androids, Android 17 and 18, based off sales of the Z Fighters, Goku, Vegeta, Krillin, Piccolo, all of them. In promotional material that came out a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, it showed us a little spy B robot. So we know they've been on surveillance, but did they go back and get sales of our Z Fighters again in their current Ultra forms? Speaking of Cell, will Cell make an appearance back in Dragon Ball Super Superhero? I don't think so, but they are following the same theme. Android 17 and 18, Gamma 1 and 2. Then the big threat comes, which was Cell back then. But now it could be, most likely will be Android 21, but her name won't be Android 21. It been hints that her name starts with a V. Could it be Violent, Velma? Some of our Dragon Ball leakers, they do know, but they don't want to spoil everything as of now. Now, we do know back in the Dragon Ball Fighters game that Android 21 pretty much split herself, or split the good out of her, and she was able to go ahead and feast on many different people, turning them into snacks. Not only devouring them, but also taking their power. Now, while I don't think that she would do this in this specific movie, if she is the big bad, and I think she will take some of those characteristics. Which leads me to this question. Do you think Gohan is going to be able to defeat this level of an enemy? Think about it. If they got sales of everybody in their current state, leaving out Ultra Ego Vegeta. Let's just say they got sales from him before he achieved Ultra Ego. So that would be Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, Ultra Instinct Goku, Ultimate Gohan, Ultimate Piccolo, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and all the other earthlings. If she has knowledge and powers or sales that she can tap into to make her be able to go against those types of threats, what can Ultimate Gohan really do? If he push past his limits, which I'm pretty sure he will, will it be a, a significant boost enough to actually defeat that major level of an enemy? I just have a feeling that Toriyama is going to have Goku, Vegeta, and Broly appear at the end to pretty much stump out this opposition and another point i wanted to bring out 
if they did bring her as the villain that was in Fighter Z, she got a pretty big power increase by absorbing Cell. Are they gonna have some type of Cell recreate to match what they actually had going in Fighters? I don't know, I don't think it's gonna be that simple of a copy and paste method. Now yesterday, Dragon Ball Hype tweeted out a picture of Android 21 as well as Cell, and his caption was, Androids are cool, followed by a winking smiley face. Which makes me believe that Cell and Android 21 will be in this movie. Keep your eyes peeled out because we're gonna get more spoilers, more leaks as the coming days are coming up. June 11 is right around the corner and every day we're gonna get new pieces of information. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you believe Android 21 would be the big bad in Dragon Ball Super superhero? Where would you scale her power? Just above Gohan or right about the level of a Tournament of Power Ultra Instinct Goku. Make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe and turn on those post notifications. That way you can be reminded every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. If you made it to the end of the video, then 9 times out of 10, you're a very loyal subscriber. And I thank you for your continued support. As you well know, Yellow Plays is where I post all my Dragon Ball content. Effective immediately, I will be posting all Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Super Manga, or Dragon Ball Super Fan Animations or Mangas on my second channel, Yellow Plays 2.0. All Super Dragon Ball Heroes content will remain on this channel. For those ones who may not know, I also have a gaming channel called The Yellow. It has 43,000 subscribers on it. But show me some support. If you follow my Dragon Ball Super Manga videos a lot, then subscribing to Yellow Plays 2.0 would be the best choice. Once again, thank you for watching to the end of this video, and I thank you all for your continued support.